Hey everybody, welcome back to Five Boys in Business, a podcast where we talk about the business, the family, and the mini shenanigan, shenanigans involved. It's Monday. And you can catch us most Mondays between 10.30 and 12. And uh, today, Harrison is on the podcast. Um, he is jumping out from behind the cameras and will be joining me here. Actually, we are now having Johnny run the podcast as of now. He is. Johnny's running the ones and twos, or he's behind the ones and twos. Yeah. Johnny is the one. Who's running twos. the show? Who's running the show? I'm here. Exactly. So, John. Stop welcome. looking at us, John. Look at the computer, please. L- welcome to Five Boys in a Business. <clears throat> so, John, are you going to say hello? No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, let's go back to the very beginning when we started because we were oh, actually yeah, going to start we like five minutes tr- ago. We were having some trouble. We were having some technical trouble. And. Yes. Um, Johnny got really nervous. He did. He was like, he was like, he, Oh, I'm not nervous. And then he got onto the, what I call the, the, the what, heat what, what, seat, what? the seat no, of <laughs> the heat seat. I call it the rocket station. Okay. He got into he got into the seat of the rocket station. He was like, what are all these buttons? What are, yeah. What are all and these now he was like, and he was like, like, he was uh, like I'm kind of nervous. He was, he, was like, <laughs> he, he didn't know what to do. So, so um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Last week, for anybody who has not watched that episode, that was I was watching it back the other day. That is a episode targeted towards millennials, if I've ever seen one. Well, when you came home and told me that Kirsten was on, and then you what you the topics you guys talked yeah. about, I was like, huh, that is a young person. Yeah. Like it was like you definitely we talked about thirst traps on TikTok and Instagram reels. We talked about Logic retiring and coming back out of retirement. We talked about we talked about like we got we got kind of philosophical. We talked about parenthood and all that. Yeah, or parenthood and like being firstborn and. Yep. whatever so go give that a listen it was good okay good cool episode. that sounds so, good so today i wrote down a few topics and there's a few that we didn't get to last week me and kirsten i still think could be relevant to this episode i was scrolling through twitter as i usually do and yes. i was going to the trending page and the first thing that's trending is subway i'm like oh boy subway here we go so something's going on with subway all right subway the company subway they yes. eat sandwiches subway yes okay Apparently there was a test done. I don't know by what company. It might have been like by a health board or something. Right. But there is no tuna in the tuna sandwich. There's no tuna. It in is tuna all sandwich. just something. Fake tuna, kind of like so, the fake crab meat yes, that you can buy yes. at the store. But yeah, I guess so. And oh, yeah, we can touch it because that is kind of gross. But there's no tuna in the tuna sandwich, which is disgusting. And then they also said that. Um, the bread has so much sugar in it that what what was it? It said basically that the bread has a crap ton of sugar in it. No matter what kind, wheat, white doesn't matter. There's a crap ton of sugar in it. So basically, don't go eat at Subway. I guess is the long of the short of it. I've never liked Subway anyway, but I'm not a big it. Subway fan either. No. Although I do remember Jimmy when John's Subway better when Subway came out when we were in high school, mm. and it was kind of like just becoming the thing and everybody would order these um six foot long subs for their parties and like it made me think of it because the graduation parties so everybody would get these six foot long subs and they'd Mm -hmm. cut them up and then you would eat them or whatever right and so that's when they and then that's when the whole um jared guy who went on the diet he's in jail right now (laughs) he went on the diet he lost all the weight eating subway Mm -hmm. and like that he was an indiana guy an iu guy and so it was like Everybody was into Subway mm. when I was growing up in high school and in college. And then it kind of fell out of favor. Yeah, then he got busted by yeah. uh, the cops for... But I'm not surprised, are you? Although tuna, I am not as surprised. far as canned tuna, is so easy. It's so easy to make tuna fish salad. It's tuna disgusting. salad. I don't like that tuna I can't anyway. believe that you tuna, would use fake tuna when tuna is not that expensive. But maybe it is. I don't know. I Yeah, go to Jimmy John's instead. Can you see now? I can totally see a Jimmy John's commercial now being like... Like mm-hmm. something about the tuna salad, like we have real tuna, like or I yeah. don't know something. I, I I don't even remember the last time I went to Subway. Although my main order, Dad likes Subway. My main order when I was young was white bread with lettuce and turkey. Yeah, except I'm not surprised that the bread has sugar in it. I think well, I'm not either. I think you know. I bet I bet Jimmy John's does does. Oh too. yeah, I but bet the fact that it came to light, it's like whoa. The uh, curtain was pulled back. The curtain was pulled back on not only the bread and the tuna, <laughs> but Jared as well. Now look what happened. Now look what happened. Subway is tarnished. No, it's not. It's not. So right. why was it on? Why was it trending on Twitter? Just people were people just... were like, "Ew, dude, this is gross." 
I mean, I don't blame them. Who goes to Subway for a tuna fish sandwich? Anyway? I don't know. I, like, I that's don't know. That, there's so many other places you can go. I know. Jimmy John's. John, where would you eat a tuna fish sandwich? His <laughs> microphone's not on, so he can't. He won't be able. He to. can't participate. No. Okay. No. So, speak. <laughs> On the topic of trending topics on Twitter, okay. Drake Bell was trending as well. Drake Bell Twitter. from Drake and Josh? Yeah, you sound excited now. I am. It was I like Drake he, and Josh because it was just he, such a clever show. He was trending on Twitter. Tell me, don't tell me he did something because bad. He got sentenced to two years in jail because of basically like child sexual harassment <gasps> or something like that. Yeah, he was. He was sending some lewd pics to a 15 year old apparently and just texting her naughty things and wait the drake the one that was the singer yeah because the other guy funny enough well josh is fine he's he's living it up he's successful yeah um not to say drake isn't but uh drake he um tried music in tried right. music here in the u.s didn't really work out that well but for whatever reason his music became super popular in mexico Really? So he moved to Mexico and learned Spanish, did, started doing songs in Spanish, everything, and he was living it up until wow. until now. Until now. Yep. So. He's got to be 30 something. Yep. He what is look, he? He doesn't he doesn't look old. He's a I mean he's aged pretty well. Did but... you like that show Drake and Josh? Yeah. Yeah, it was a great show. Yeah. Drake and Josh was a great show. It was one of the and then they had the girl shows. from iCarly. Yeah. That was on it too. I mean Which, all those funny enough, iCarly just got rebooted. Really? They, well, it, it's 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 on Paramount Plus right now. Because I think Calvin would love that show. Yeah. Well, it's 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 so funny because they are they rebooted it, and honestly, it seems true to form. Like I would give it a watch because it's in the same place. It's with most of the same characters except Sam and Gibby aren't there. Wait, wait. You mean they're um, rebooting it, like redoing it? No, like they're. It's literally just iCarly, but they're older. They're actually it's iCar it's actually the iCarly. Yeah. Like the girl that was yes. the iCarly yes. in it? Yes. <gasps> I gotta watch that. So, like, Freddy, okay, but wait, so, but what, so you're not and, talking about like rerunning the old no, show. No, so Freddie and Spencer are back. So no. So is Miranda Co or Carly Miranda. Is Cosgrove. Carly with Freddie? No. Weren't they to gonna be together? No, at the very end, Freddie and Sam got together. Freddie and Sam were together because Freddie hurt his foot. Remember, Sam, and then Sam is gone because apparently they, they they said in the show that she is in a biker gang and traveling around the world. What about her brother? Didn't I Carly have the older brother? Yeah, Spencer's back. Oh, so yeah. you, that's Spencer. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's those back. three plus two new characters or two black girls. I don't know who they are, but um, but I've heard it's pretty solid. Okay, I have to watch. And it's it. funny because it's on Paramount Plus. It's not on okay. Nickelodeon, so they're not they're not. Like tied to them, tied down to to certain restrictions. So right. they say cuss words in the show, and it's very funny. Oh, they do. <laughs> yeah. Now, how old are they in the show? Like um, twenty somethings. Yeah, I something mean, yeah. like that. They all look great. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, they've that's all cool. they've all aged pretty well. And Miranda Cosgrove is actually a genius because after I Carly ended, I don't think she ended up doing anything. So she had money and she was pretty successful. So she went back to college and got a degree in something. And she's just working. She's just working a job. So Miranda, which one was she? She's Carly. That's Carly. Mm -hmm. So she went and she was back. And she was Megan on Drake and Josh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's in it. Yeah. And then, but Sam the, did not come back. No. I wonder why. Sam has said that she doesn't, she's not, she's, she wasn't, she didn't like the idea. Of before. doing the. Oh, what's her name? Jen, Jen, uh, when I don't remember her name, but Sam. Is Johnny able to pull up the pictures of the things? Uh, Johnny, you know how to? So yeah, you'll you'll pull up, go to Google Chrome, open up a new tab, go full screen, and just type in like iCarly reboot Paramount Plus, um, and then and then hit the first monitor uh, button on the OBS, and then transition it. I am super excited about this now. I have something else to watch. But you just have to subscribe to Paramount Plus. I feel like I have Paramount no, Plus through you something don't. else. No, you don't. I feel like I do, Harrison. Yeah, there it is. Look, John, way see. to go, Idaho. Look at well, you, you got, running you, the board. You, you, yeah, you can kind of see it. Can you, you know what? Or, Cal, Johnny, go to YouTube and look up the trailer and play the trailer. But just be sure to mute the trailer. 
Um, full screen that too. I feel like I do, Harrison. I don't think you do. Not through Amazon. Nope. Not through anything else. Nope. Why can't anybody just have all of these things in they will. one place? I, they, I, I bet they will at some point. So that you can not have four ninety nine hitting your credit card every by fifteen different companies. Just have one place. You here, know here it saying? is. Yeah, go full screen, John. <gasps> yep. So here's the old. Oh my is god, it, John, they is were it, so cute. John, is it muted? Okay, good. So this so it ended in 2012. It's 2021. Look at Freddie now. There's 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 a, there's Carly. There's Spencer in the same area, same rooms. Doing that's Freddie. Yep, doing the same. Oh my doing the god, same bit. that's cool. <laughs> those are the, those are the two new characters. <laughs> it's my sense of humor. So. I think it's hilarious. This is gonna be great. So I think what they end up doing is just bringing iCarly back. And it's literally the same acting. Same jokes. This is funny, though. That joke is funny. <laughs> that joke, he that, was that, always clever, yeah, that, that gave me a good laugh. That was, he, he drinks warm beer. That was funny. That guy is There's funny. There's Freddie's mom. Doesn't look any different. Freddie looks different, though. I yeah, feel Freddie. Like. Yeah, he, he, he's he got a beard and his hair is kind of going to the wayside. <laughs> There's Neville. Oh, Neville. I remember Neville. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. this is going to be good. I got to watch it for yeah. sure. I've heard that's pretty decent. So, <laughs> so I've heard it's pretty good. John, before you exit out, make sure I transition back to us. Oh, gosh. Too cute. Um, But, yeah. So, I, 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 I think... I think one side... Because I've been wanting to watch the new SpongeBob movie as well on Paramount Plus. Along with that... And but the Halo show that is being made right now is also going to be on Paramount Plus. So whenever that comes out, I'll probably end up subscribing to Paramount. So now Plus. you're going to subscribe to Disney Plus. So I have Disney Plus. You I have Netflix. Hulu. Netflix. I, don't, I don't. I don't have Hulu. Okay. Disney Plus. Netflix. Cause I use yours. Disney Plus. Yeah, I Netflix. wonder. Okay, because I'm like, <laughs> who's watching this show? Okay, go Disney ahead. Disney Plus, Netflix, um, uh, HBO Max. Yeah, see? And and that's it. Yeah, but that's like what is that? That uh, 30 that, bucks. That cost me 30 bucks I think a month, maybe 35. Why don't they just do it one Actually, it probably cost me like 40. Why are they all doing these separately? Why didn't they all get because together? Because this is what happens at the very beginning of ideas. They all come out with their own thing, right? You think about the VR systems, you think about electric cars. Well, electric cars are a little different. But you think about VR is the first thing that comes to my mind. When VR was hitting the market, everyone did it. And now it's down to like two or three actual companies making it and taking it seriously. Now what they're going to do is they're going to do all these streaming services. Some will probably end up dying and go being thrown by the wayside. There will be two or two to four that stand at the top, and and they'll go in and buy the ones that fell the maybe, wayside. I don't know, uh, but right now Disney Plus. What's HBO the difference Max, all, by the time this happens? What's the difference? You know what the problem is? It's just going to be Direct TV, but on streaming. So why doesn't DirecTV just do, although DirecTV is not producing content. Yeah. And these places are. Yep. Yep. So interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, that's cool. On the topic of shows. Thanks for the good news. On the topic of shows, uh, we we in our household watch The Bachelor and Bachelorette every now and then. I We have not watched this season. I haven't really been invested. Um, and it's honestly, it just takes up my Monday nights. Like, do I really want to spend two hours watching The Bachelor? No, you don't. I've no, been trying to tell you this since you were in high school. Well, no. Okay. Well, honestly, I'd watch it on Hulu, but Madeline wants to watch it live. And I'm like, let's just, because like, there's like 40 minutes of commercials. Anyway. Yes. When you watch it. Yeah. Anyway, um, Chris Harrison was in a whole debacle last season. That's the guy that said the, because he said, he, some, he he said, said something that was like, yeah, he yeah, said, it was really he said ridiculous. Some controversial things right. that, that. Not even controversial. They were con they were not controversial. By, by controversial, I mean to other people. Okay, thank you. And so, um, and so, he got canceled per se. Um, so he's not doing the show. He came out. He defended himself, and then once he defended himself, he got even more backlash. And then he ended up apologizing and doing what everybody else does, which is, "I'm sorry for my mistakes. I'll, oh my I'll, I'll go it's and ridiculous. I'll, go, I'll go and learn some more, yeah. whatever." Um, he said he would come back. And he was taking a break. Uh, he is not coming back. Good. He, he, he needs to give them he, the middle he, finger and he, walk away. He, he left but got a payout um, from ABC. Uh, the rumors are that it was $9 million, <gasps> but he wanted $20 million. Um, 
So it's quite interesting because I would love to know what he had, like what deets he has from ABC and just like the show in general, because they, they have ignored a lot of the, a lot of the people that go on the show are like, yeah, I had to take a break from everything for a while because of just getting pummeled by the bachelor fans and like the, oh, just yeah. the bullying and whatnot. And the show doesn't really take it seriously. And they tend to, I mean, it's reality TV. I mean, they, they, I think sometimes they take it a bit too far, especially yeah. Matt's season. Um, and funny enough, it was hilarious because at the end of Matt's season, Rachel was also in a whole thing because she, who he ended up to, which is hilarious. That's the one, right? Rachel ended up, Matt and Matt ended up picking Rachel. But during this, during the show, Rachel, the people, you know, like they do, went all went way back into her Instagram account. Right. And they found pictures that picture they of, found her pictures at a party, of her at a plantation which party. Was like, which which let me be frank. I don't know why anybody would go to a plantation party to begin with. Like why would you like you gotta look at the stuff that they're wearing, where it's at, and be like, This is kind of weird. Like, why are we doing this? Right. Again though, people freak out, whatever. I, there's faults on both sides. But the funny thing was at the very end Chris Harrison was gone. This was by the time that he left and took his break. And they brought another guy on, a black host, to do the very end of the it's called the the after the rose ceremony, right? And Rachel and Matt, they come onto the show, and Rat, Matt's like, I don't know if I can forgive you for this. Like, I don't know if I can give you another chance. And here I am, I feel so bad for this girl because she is sitting there taking all the heat and she she looks skinny. Like I think she I mean she was she I don't think that she was doing well. But um, lo and behold, they're together now and they're just roaming around places and just hanging out. He with probably was like, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. And then just well, go with it. That's exactly. I'm yeah, sure. But I said, I said, I thought I liked Matt throughout the season. And when it got to that point, I was like, you're a coward, dude. Yeah. You're because... a coward. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, and, and even Rachel, the girl is sitting there and taking it being like, I'm know, sure like, they, I'll, sit they... Here, I'll sit here for you. Their publicist, their publicist probably said, just do this and get out to the other side of it and then live your life. What a coward. Just do, I know. Jesus Christ. It's ridiculous. Like, come on, man. Like, if you really like, love this girl and want to marry her, they should be like, listen, guys, because I think, I think he does agree with the people who are, or he doesn't agree with the cancel culture. He's like, I, I yeah, it's whatever. absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, it, it was just all, a, it was all a hoax. It was all a game. And, and I knew it from the very beginning. And I told, I remember texting in our group chat saying, this is, he's a coward. I was like, from what I've been reading, doesn't know yeah. what he's doing. So, well, they probably, like I said, they probably weighed the pros and the cons and they were like, you know what? This isn't my fight. I'm not doing it. We're just going to pretend yeah. and move on. I think after that, I lost a lot of respect for him and just, well, the show. listen, I, we I, don't have their perspective. We're not in their I shoes. Think, it may have I just guess. been, I don't know, just, and I think, I, I think, I think it's interesting to look at it from like a, uh, a, it's interesting to look at it from the way I was talking about, but I bet that they were looking at it from a business perspective. Oh yeah, thinking like, listen, I have so many opportunities lined up, and if I don't do this, then I'm done. Oh, I'm and sure I, they were in agreement together. She knew exactly what oh, he yeah. was going to say. Oh yeah, so that I'm sure. Yeah, I'm exactly. Sure. There's no way she didn't know what he was going to say. Yeah, and for them to still be together yeah. afterwards, like th that was totally a, just so, an act. Yeah, I and granted, like I always told myself, this is just uh, this is like my 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 junk food for shows. I'll just sit there and like watch it and not even think about it. But I don't even think I can enjoy it anymore. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I may end up binging. Me and Madeline may end up binging through it on Hulu <laughs> after like once like the the finale is like in, you know t uh, close. But yeah, it's interesting stuff. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's yeah. Um. Oh, that's probably me. Just John. John just hit the top button. Hit the top button. The top. No, no. no the, uh, the very the top, top. Very top. Yep. There you go. Um, so <laughs> funny enough, we have been for whatever reason getting calls and messages at the clinic saying that, "Hey guys, I look up the clinic and you guys come up at, or I type in no yeah. kill shelter and you guys are the first yeah. one that comes up." What is up with that? <laughs> We've had so many clients um, calling about that. And I don't know. You haven't figured so it out yet. So on to, to clarify, I guess. No, we're not a no kill shelter. We're we're not a shelter. Yeah, we're not a shelter. We're a yeah. veterinary clinic. Um and I think I, I looked at the Google ads and I don't I didn't see anything regarding the keywords, but I put in I did something. I did 
you know, my work to hopefully fix it. So yeah, it was interesting because somebody we wanted not. to give us their dog last week. And then the week before yeah. that, it was something else. So hopefully we don't come up. I, I would think that they she said the, that that particular person said she Googled something and we pop. We were like the first thing. I don't think we're up. I don't think we're the first thing, but I yeah. think that the fact that it's a no kill shelter and I'm sure that they're looking through the, the ads and like we're like the fifth one and they just click on it. Right. They, or they skip the ads for no kill shelters. And then we might be like the second or third. Right. Because no kill shelter animals, whatever. You know what I mean? I just thought it was funny. It's very interesting because yeah. that's, yeah, not so, what. <laughs> yeah, not what we are at all. Not Although, I mean, you know, we have Hamilton County, which is a no kill shelter. True, so. true. Yeah, I put in some negative keywords to hopefully negate that whole thing. The whole so thing. People, though, didn't that happen another time a few months ago? I think it did. I don't remember yeah, because we were having people calls from all over the other parts of the state, like the city or oh, something. Oh yeah, we were they're calling up from like the deep, like like deep in Indy. Yeah, you know, yeah, and they would just call and looking for end. appointments would, or whatever. It would, yeah, it would lead to nothing, or it would lead to nothing. Yeah, because people would be like, so, "Where are you located?" Yeah. And we'd West be like, Indiana. Indiana. They're like, like ah. fifty minutes away." Yeah, yeah. No. But. Um, anyway, so I just thought it was interesting and funny. Um, last week sucked. It was terrible. Just uh, from not from a work life. I was going to say not, what happened. <laughs> not from a work perspective, but from a home perspective. Right? Oh, you sure did you have a bad week at home at your house. I'm going to take everybody through a saga. All right. Okay. So strap in, grab your popcorn. <laughs> all right. This is going to be a wild ride. This is what Tony Katz ride. would call a, the popcorn okay? moment. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be a wild ride. Okay. John, put the camera on me. All right. Here we go. So last week. Actually, let me back up a little bit further. A few weeks ago, me and Madeline bought a, bought new rugs, okay? She's been wanting these rugs for a while. I thought I'd treat her to these rugs. Um, and so I got a rug for the living room. I got a rug for the guest bedroom. And I got a Star Wars rug for my office. So the living room and the in my office rug, my the living room rug and the, my office room rug show up, okay? The guest room rug is still in bond backwards coming in July, okay? We put down all the rugs. The living room rug is fine, right? We put it down. It looks good, okay? A few weeks go by to last week, and I'm stepping on it, and I'm like, oh, it's wet. What is – that's weird. I'm like, it's damp. I don't think anything of it, right? I, I go – Yeah, which is the head. first problem. Yeah. Don't think anything of a wet rug. Well, I thought maybe it was Annie. Maybe it was Moose. Because it, it, was, it was that kind of wet where it's like, I don't think it can be anything serious. It could have been. Oh, it wasn't on... wet enough. No, no, no. You think no. it was like an accident. Yeah. You thought yeah. that it was it, like. It, just... it was damp. It wasn't there. It wasn't them. It, was an act, it wasn't an, uh, like them peeing or anything because I smelled it. didn't smell like that. But over the next few days, it smelled musty. I was like, oh, God. I was like, what is that? I thought it was the dog's blankets or something like that. I thought it might have been the couch where Annie expressed her anal glands, but it was not that. No. Nice. Um, <laughs> Um, which we cleaned up right away, which is a few weeks ago. Oh God! Um, a month ago, um, and I come out a few days after, and I, and I, the rug is wet again. I'm like, that is so. So we roll up the rug, and the rug is actually damp. It's the it's the it's like it's very slightly damp, but the the what's it called underneath it? The, the pad, pad, the rug yeah, pad, the rug pad is, yeah, is more wet. Pad. It's not like soaking, but it's it's more damp than the rug. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, oh my god! And so I start thinking to myself, I'm like, hmm, what could it be? Because in these situations, I need to know. I need to know what's where it's coming from, how I can stop it, how to fix it, and specifically with house stuff. Like if there's a if there's an insect problem, I need to fix it right then and there. I'm just very anal about that stuff. Anyway, um, I'm like, what could it be? Huh? What could it be? And I start thinking. I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, it could be a I was like, no way. I was like, no way. It's a foundation leak. And I started Googling and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> it's a foundation leak. And so I start freaking out. And mind you, I'm freaking out because when you have a foundation leak, if you don't own a house or don't know what it is, a foundation leak is simply what it is. Like that's, it's what the word is. A foundation leak is when, especially on my property, it's just a standard three bedroom, two bathroom house on a concrete slab, ranch, on ranch, you know, pretty standard when they build when they when they when they pour slabs like that the pipes are in, in the concrete the, mm -hmm. or underneath it right okay? which means that they would need to come into my house dig up the brand new floor that i laid a year ago that, that i paid to have somebody lay a year ago 
dig up the concrete and then fix the leak. And even if they fix it there, there's more, there's a chance it could pop up like a foot down the pipe, whatever again. Okay. And I read that the, if that's going to be the case, you might as well just repipe like up a wall into the attic, you know, whatever. I'm like, oh my, I'm like, what? I, I'm like, I'm losing my mind. Right. Um, and mind you, this is going to cost so much money that I have, but that I don't want to spend on a leaking pipe. Yes. And, and with all of this being said, I have a patio that's supposed to be laid the next day or two days from now, which I've been looking forward to for months let alone since I've moved in. Okay. We moved in. And, uh, I am going to be honest. I found that out and Kirsten was there cause Madeline's sister was visiting last week. I went to bed. <laughs> I didn't even want to, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to, I, I did not want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to think about it. I literally went to bed at like 8 PM and I slept for a solid 14 hours. I slept on, on the news. I slept on the news and, and I woke up a better man. And I had a clear head. <laughs> okay, right? that's good. Because how are you able to fall asleep? Because when's because I was just like, you know what? No. I just went to bed. <laughs> um, but and also like I didn't want to get angry at Madeline and like I didn't want to because I would just vent, I would just like get angry at anything. Right. Because of, and when something like this happens, like it just ruins my day. I don't care. Mm. I don't care what happened. I could have won ten thousand dollars. Actually, that probably would have made me less angry. But but it just ruins my day, right? So I went to bed. Woke up the next day and I was like, you know what? We're going to figure this out. I was like, we got this. And um, I started thinking more. And the leak was going underneath the floor, right? And it was coming from the furnace room, leaking into the living room and kind of pooling in the middle of the living room, right? It wasn't going to the exterior wall. It wasn't going anywhere else, just pooling in this middle part of the living room. And it wasn't a heavy leak either. Right. It wasn't a heavy leak. I had to literally push pretty hard on the, on the, we have LVT, uh, flooring. I had to push really hard on the LVT flooring in order to get the smallest of droplets to come to the seams. Right. Um, and so I'm like, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I don't know if it's a foundation leak. I, I, so I called absolute comfort, highly recommend them. They are fantastic. It's expensive, but they are fantastic. Yeah. You pay what you get. You though. pay what you pay, get. For, pay yeah. for what, whatever that yeah. saying is. You pay what you, you pay what, what <laughs> you pay what you get, you pay what you get more. You, you get what you, you get, pay you for. Get more, get paid. <laughs> no, um, no, they are. And Chris owns it. Who came out, right? Oh, he owns absolute comfort. Chris owns absolute comfort. Oh, I didn't know that. You got the owner. I did, I did not know that. Actually, yeah. That's probably why he's been doing it for 24 years. Yeah. Um, but uh, I called Absolute Comfort. Had yeah, a, shout had, out to Chris yeah. and Corey. And, yeah. Because Corey's one of my favorite techs over yeah. there. Yeah. I had an appointment scheduled, but the Carolyn, who is also a fantastic receptionist over there, she's great. Um, super nice. Uh, she said that, you, I, you know, I can have them come out, but usually with slab leaks, you need to, ha you need to have somebody come out and do a ultrasound scan to see if they can find it, right. right? Because they would rather scan it, see if they can find it, and then tear up your floor and your concrete right. to go exactly to the issue instead of tearing it up in multiple places. Right. So I called, I canceled that appointment with Absolute Comfort. I called a company called TSI Energy Solutions, which I also recommend. The lady was super nice. Her name is Tiffany. And she was asking me all these questions. She was like, okay, so how bad is the leak? I was like, well, I mean, I really have to push on the boards in order to even see the water. Or like the droplets, you know. She was like, "Huh, okay." She said, "Well, how how long how has your water bill gone up any?" I was like, "Maybe like a dollar." And she was like, "Huh, okay." And she was like, "Yeah, you don't have a foundation leak." I was like, huh. "Thank you, God." I was like, "Thank you, Tiffany." <laughs> I was like, "Lord." Um. And so, uh, t so I got off the phone with Tiffany after she gave me some insight, um, and I called back Absolute Comfort. I said. I don't, she, she does, it's not a, she doesn't think it's a foundation leak because TSI Energy Solutions specializes in heavy foundation leaks right. under the slab leaks that are literally like standing water, like where your water bill is going up significantly. And like, you know, there's not the case. So I call back Absolute Comfort. I cancel my appointment or I, 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 I rebook my appointment with Chris. Um, uh, the day goes by, Chris comes over, right? And, I walk into the house because Kirsten let him in and he's like, yeah, you don't have a foundation leak. I was like, thank God. And he says it's the furnace. Right. And I'm like, this furnace has cost me a couple grand already. <laughs> and it's a 2017 furnace, mind you. 
and it's fairly new, I would think, right? So he told me the issue is that we don't have gas in the house. We have electrical. That's it, which is tough, especially with the furnace. And so um, the furnace is attached to the ceiling. It, it's attached to the ground, straight to the concrete. And when, the, when the, the, the furnace is built vertically, obviously, but there's a coil in the middle of the furnace that is slanted, right? And the coil is what heats up and cools down the house. The coil has always given us trouble. Chris came in, looked at the coil. It was dirty. It was just disgusting, right? There's dog hair everywhere and then like, like just, it was grody. I didn't know that it needed to be serviced, right? I, one of the house things that I didn't know, right? I was, I told Chris, I was like, I, I had no idea. He was like, yeah, this is why I'm here to teach you. I was like, thank you. <laughs> um, um, and so, uh, so the, the, w it was so dirty to the point where it wasn't draining properly when it was cooling. Mind you, going back a little bit, it was leaking during the hot uh, months. The hot the, weather. The, the hot weather. Mm -hmm. um, during the cool during the winter, cooler months, we'd use heat. It doesn't need to drain water. But when it's cooling, it's getting so getting so cold that it needs to drain down the slant to the PVC pipe out of the furnace and then and down to the drain in the laundry room. It was not draining properly. It was draining. It was it was draining it's still into the PVC pipe, but it was also dripping from the coil down straight into the furnace and then under the, under the floor, whatever. Which is great news, right? I would rather pay a couple hundred dollars to have him come out and fix it than seven grand to have somebody come out and tear up the floors and whatnot. So that's great news, um, and it's honestly perfect because I need to tear up the laminate in the laundry room anyway, um, and so. Uh, he's coming to fix it on Wednesday between 8 to 10 a.m. There you go. Yeah. That's exciting. It'll be done. Yeah. So that was my week last week, was figuring all that out and finding a solution. We'll see. Look, it all works out in the end. It does until the next problem pops up. <laughs> there will be one. Yes, there will be. It's not a matter of if, it is when. No. Nope. You know what's funny is that it brought, I, I was thinking about this, trying to put things into perspective. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? I am having a tr I'm having a problem with this, right? This is a terrible problem I'm having. I'm really stressed out, but I can be here, take some, or I can I can leave work for a bit, take some time here, figure this out. And I was thinking back to some of the problems at your house <laughs> and how stressful that must have been. Because dad, you know, taking a shower, getting ready for work, he's probably already all ready to go. He's got a lot of things to do that day. Comes down. And I tell him that the water's coming out of the light bulb <laughs> as soon as he's about to walk out of the door. And I'm sure he's like, oh, you know what I mean? So, and that did not happen because this has probably been what, this is probably. That's when you been were. Like, this, like my second or third issue with this house. Yeah. And my, mind you, I don't think anything was like as concerning as like a light bulb like that. Yeah. That was um, when the, yeah, there was something with the caulking in that old shower. Yep. and. Yeah. I was like, dad. Yeah. So I just think, and like, or tearing up the, t trying to <laughs> fix the basement cracks that I don't even want to know <laughs> how you guys did that while working and taking care of us. I don't even want because <laughs> you guys had to rent the excavator yes. and, and, and tear down. Like how, how far down did you, you went down far? Like, oh, to the like foundation. Yeah. To yeah. the bottom of the eight feet had to, had to, had to, I had to tar it, tar remember it, that paper, yeah, and... And tar it, and then put it all back. You helped Dad with that. Oh, I, I did because that's how I I remember it. Yeah. So there were lots. That house is just the house that the gift that keeps giving. We kept finding. As soon as <laughs> yeah. you start one thing, then something else happens. That is the one thing I'm happened. very nervous about. Is like in our second house, we want to have a basement, and I know that like they're great, but yeah. they can be pains in the butts. Yeah, I think depending on some of the the way the construction's done now, they can have some pretty impermeable like surfaces, but then something about the concrete doesn't breathe. There's something else then that, but anyway, I think that they have better solutions than huh. when, you know, these older houses, like that was, house was built was, in the seventies. So I was looking at a video, speaking of basements, <laughs> it was on Instagram reels. And there's this guy who was just like videoing his basement and it was flooding, like just like nobody's business. It was flooding. And he had windows like ours and in, in, or your guys in the basement and it's just flooded. And it looks like it's, it looks like a lake. Like, you know what I mean? Cause like the way it, like, like there's a, but then there's like, there's like a fish in, 
in the water. In oh my fog. god! And he's just like, it's funny because he turns, he's looking around, and then he focuses on the window, and you just see like a fish and a frog, like just like moving around. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, my what? god, that's bad. But we've never had anything that bad. But Thank god. yeah, I mean, basement. I've heard just heard bad story. Like oh yeah, with, with ours or with yours, Bacchuses. With yours, the Bacchuses, then Madeline's parents uh, multiple times. Like when I was up there, I think like once or one or two times ago. They woke up, it was raining like nobody's business, and they woke up at like 3 a.m. to the basement flooding because their sump pump broke. And they were, they were like, apparently like for like four hours trying to... I'll never like, forget that time though. Remember yeah, when you and Casey yes. were at the house? Yes, because <laughs> it was raining. And mom, it, it was like, it was like a I'm call. I'm like, get Casey and I, I and know, It was like a call to action. It was like, like sending out, uh, sending it out It was the, the best. You guys like, were get, like, get the buckets, get the buckets. <laughs> it's like, man, man, no. <laughs> so funny. Oh gosh, Casey must have some stories about our family. It's oh, just I'm so sure funny because it's like yes. Anyway, it's great. Um, yeah, there's enough stories about that house. To jeez, yeah, wow. Um, but basically, don't buy a house. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you know what's funny? I'm looking at. I'm thinking to myself. I've had these many. I I, I literally walked into the door. Or, or I walked into the house as soon as I bought it, closed it, walked in, getting ready to move in. I walk in and the, and, and the light in the front door and the front door falls. That's how my, that's how my, that, that's how my moving in thing or moving experience, in process. Experience yeah. Went. yeah. Casey and Katie move in their house. They've had no problems with their appliances. They've had no problems with their furnace, anything. And they're all the original stuff. Huh? It's from 2003. Oh, wow. So I'm waiting here, like, like when's it going to happen? Right, exactly. Is it going to come at once, you know? <laughs> right. We'll see. Well, yeah. my week, um, Richie took Holden and his friends up to the lake. For, yep. So now, and but left Calvin so that he could really focus yes. on Holden and his friends, which is, which is very difficult because your dad does yes. so many things, that, which allows me to just work when I'm at work. Because when I come to work... I don't think about anything else but work, which is why we've been so successful. Yes. So I'm not distracted. So I come to work and I don't even know anything that's happening outside of these walls. Right. Well, when he's not here, I kind of have to know what's happening outside the walls. So Holden stepped into dad's shoes. When, when dad went up early before Holden left, Holden took care of Calvin for me for the first day and a half so that dad could get up to the lake, get everything organized for the kids that are coming. Mm -hmm. And so Holden took Calvin to his swim meet on Thursday night and um, he got a nail in his foot. So I get a call why I'm still at work with Calvin who has a nail in his foot and that child, he can't win for losing, I swear. And so no one pulled out of his foot mm -hmm. and, um, and it looks bad. Granted, I'll give you that much. Like it looked it bad. Look, yeah, it like looked it bad. gave me pause when I saw yeah. it. I was like, maybe uh, they're right. Maybe I shouldn't pull it out. Yeah. So we took him to med check. Cause I was like, all right, I won't pull it out. Cause maybe the people know more than I was thinking, you know, anyway. Yeah. So he comes from the swim meet. Holden's got him in the car. No one at the swim meet pulls it out. He's in Holden's car. It's now been 40 minutes since the kid got a nail in his foot. Uh, uh, and that's I so meet him gross. at med check. I look at it. I'm like, all right, let's just ask him their opinion. So we go into med check and I'm like, can you guys just pull this out? Or, and they're like, Oh, a foreign body that big. We think you need to go to the hospital because we think that it's location. Maybe he needs an ultrasound of his tendon or maybe an x-ray. And I call Betsy to see if Tyler's at home at her house. And then she's like, I'll ask Jim. And Jim's like, well, you might need a tetanus shot. You know, maybe take him into med check. This is before I went into med check. So uh, processing all of that, processing all of that, going to med check, they're like, yeah, we're afraid to pull it out. And I was like, oh my God, you bunch of wimps. So then I, they're like, you really need to go to IU North. And I was like, I am not going to the hospital to pull a nail out of this child's foot right. to do all these <laughs> things. Okay. Now, selfishly speaking, I get it. It was going to require a lot of hours in the evening. My work schedule has been just ridiculous as far yes. as the workload that we've had here at work. And I'm like, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that bad. So I call one of my friends who's a doctor and it was like, is this unreasonable? Can I just pull the nail out, flush it and then watch him? And, um, he was like, yeah, let's do that. And I said, okay. And so he's fine. So I pulled it out. I brought him back to the clinic, yeah. which then we were laughing in the leadership meeting because I was like, we have the camera in treatment. 
Oh, yeah. Know? We should pull that. That would be funny. Because he's on the treatment table. <laughs> and I'm like, you're going to have to lay on your stomach, right? <laughs> you got to know I should have looked that up. That would be funny. Um, and I'm like, you got to lay on your stomach. Oh, wait. I don't record on the weekends. Oh, you don't record no, on the weekends. Oh, shoot. Or maybe yeah. I do. No, I don't think I do. And so I'm like, lay on your stomach. And so he's laying. It was No, it was Thursday night. Oh, it was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday okay. night. So Let me I'm see like, if I can find it then. Lay on your stomach. And he's like, I don't want to lay on my stomach. And Holden's with me. And I'm like, listen, we're just going to put some lidocaine on there. So I go in, to, I go in get some lidocaine um, from the pharmacy. And right. I'm... I'm dribbling lidocaine on the nail, you know? <laughs> and so he's complaining about the lidocaine and why he's complaining about the lidocaine. I pulled the nail out uh, and I was, it, and of course he screamed when I pulled the nail out. Um, and, um, it was, it was not even in yeah. as far as it looked. It looked so bad in the picture. Right. It was in his foot, maybe slightly more than a quarter of an inch. Right. And I was like, I feel like thank you'd, God I did not I, take him to the emergency room. I, I feel like you'd be able to tell if if he had a problem with his tendon or like his. Well, we his asked him to move his toes. Yeah. So um, I feel like you'd be able to tell if like it was it was really. A, so it was Doctor Keller who was helping me, and I'm giving a shout out to him because he works in Cicero and he is needing pediatric patients, and I've known him for a very long time, and he's awesome, and he's got more than enough appointment space. If you need. A pediatrician, see Richard Keller. He's working at IU. He works out of IU North or whatever, or IU whatever. And he's got his own office up in Cicero. Go check him out. He's more than happy to help you. He's practical. He's All right, great, let's, let's great see guy. It. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> let's see if I can find this. When was oh, it? When, God. When was it was it? like at 7 o'clock. Oh, no. I, I don't think I can get it then. You can't? I, I stopped recording at 7. It was right at 7 o'clock, I think. Uh, also, the camera's like weirdly over here. Um, but Calvin was a trooper and then we flushed it with some betadine, which of course stung. And then we wrapped him with some vet wrap. That is funny. And we took him home. That was my Thursday. That is funny. Wow. That is, that's intense. Yep. Then Friday night we had, we stayed late cause we did a foreign body surgery. Yes, you did. Good so on then you. I was here Friday night. So then Friday night. We did the surgery, which meant I had to come in and do the discharge on Saturday morning. Yep. Then, and our dog did great. He's doing wonderful. And Calvin's like, can I just come with you to help take care of him? And I should have known better because, again, so, but no, because my mom guilt and I'm not, I'm yeah. working these long hours. I'm like, sure, sure, come with me. Well, we've got Holden's car because... Holden took the big car with his friends. And so- well, he, on drove, my, he drove down all of his friends? Yeah, well, part of them. Oh. And so, um, and he took Winnie with him. And mm -hmm. so my the Jeep key isn't on my key ring. And so Calvin goes out and starts the Jeep. And then I said, oh, wait, we need my keys to be able to get in the clinic. So he brings the Jeep key back in and brings me. Also, you don't need your keys to get into the clinic. I don't? You have your key card. On my keys. Oh, okay. And so, so gotcha. he exchanged the keys out. The Jeep's already started. We drive right. away with no Jeep key, park it, do our treatments, and then get ready to leave. It's and funny that it does that. I'm surprised we have no Jeep I'm, key. I'm surprised it didn't give you a notice or something like, "Hey, like you're 50 feet away, you better turn back." <laughs> no. You know what I mean? That's so uh, because I know the Mazda does that. Not that the I know has of. Some cool features. I tell you, I'm surprised that nobody else does. Yeah, well, not, not that I, I know of. It should really just be like you can't. It should not allow you to yeah. engage it out of yeah. park. Because the Mazda, whenever if you, your key fob's not in the car. Yeah, because my Mazda, whenever the key is like, I, it's honestly like 10, 10 feet or something like that. Like the the the, the there, it'll beep inside the 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 car, telling you like, listen, like you need to, or, you need to find or, your or, key or, or it'll stop. Yeah. And then the other cool thing is that if you lock the door with your keys in it, it won't lock the car. Oh, see, that's cool too. Yeah. Yeah, no. So then my bro nice brother-in-law, Jim Dawson, came yep. up and rescued us, brought yeah. me the key. There you go. So That's quite a week. It was It was just, it was like one thing. Yep. Next I thing. I found that that's usually Next what thing. happens. Oh, I come home on, what night was it that I came home? I told you that my lamp broke Wednesday night. Oh, yeah, because Calvin's Thursday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know what day it was. My lamp broke. That was Friday. Holden's just notorious Thursday. for having stuff break when he watches things. Oh, my God. He came to come over and watch Annie and Moose, and... We come home and some of the candles on the dining room table are broken. I'm like, hold on, what did you do? And he's like, well, Andy ran into the table and then the candles fell and they broke. I tried to 
fix them. I'm like, how do you try? Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. it was just one half, thing of, the, half of the things that are tore up in the house are because me and Madeline leave. We leave somebody else to watch them. That's AKA, what happens. AKA Bluish walked the dogs <laughs> and Moose tore up the couch. <gasps> you know about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I, I, I specifically yeah. said Bluish, they can't have their ha- balls in the house. Lo and behold, he wakes up, lets them outside. Let's him back in, not paying attention, with both their balls, and then he goes back to bed. While Moose's ball gets stuck, stuck under the, the couch, couch. Yeah. And then he starts tearing up the couch. To get to the ball. Honestly, we just need a new couch anyway. But so. Yep. So, well, you know what? Now it's Monday. We're on to a new week. I guess. Hopefully. We're ready to roll. And July 4th is coming. So we will not have a podcast next Monday. Oh, good good way to start the week. My patio is being done right now. There you go. See, it's just a better week. Madeline texted me. She was like, "Um, maybe we shouldn't have got it this big." I'm like, "Hmm." No, you can never have it too big. Mm. That's why. That's why I told her. I was yeah. like, I was like, honestly, I'd rather just have. It. She's like, "But we have no yard." I'm like, "Yes, we do, honey. It's fine." Yeah, and you could decorate around it. It'll look good. They are. They are out there doing the border outline today, and they are pouring. Maybe tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, it's if it supposed doesn't to rain. rain at 9 a.m. 30 percent chance. I don't know, like, does it need to, like, be sunny and dry for it to, like, or can you just pour it and then... I think it's, it dries pretty quickly. It's just that you can't walk on it or, like, put heavy things on it. Like, that's why we couldn't drive on it. So, like... You guys need to put your initials in it. So, like, if we... So, like, if it drizzles, they can still pour I don't, it. Yeah, I think so. Mm, okay. I think it... I don't know. I shouldn't say, but... Maybe not at all. I, maybe there's no drizzling. I'm so lot. excited, though. Are you guys going to put your hands pumped. in it? We'll probably end up doing You got to do something clever. Madeline was like, we need to put our hands on there and then Moose and Annie's. I was like, okay. <laughs> sure. Whatever you, I know, whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's um, hilarious. But I've been waiting for this patio for a while, so I'm super excited to get it done. And then I think the weekend after... <sighs> yeah. The weekend after we get back from July 4th, we're going to go to Lowe's and just drop some cash. Just drop it. We're going to go get some gravel slash pebble, some edgings to put the gravel and pebble around the, the patio. Going to get some two wood beams. I need to get concrete. I need to get uh, an outdoor rug. I need to buy an umbrella for the outside. You do have a lot. It's funny, though, because I think the only things that will be that ex- like super expensive are the the umbrella and like maybe the rug. Yeah. Everything else is just like, it's a, just a lot. Like the gravel and pebble is going to be nothing. Yep. So very cool. Looking forward to it. Rock and Looking rockin'. forward to it. If you guys haven't already go check out the, uh, did you know, uh, video that was posted today on the all-star page. Oh, did you post it today? Which one? What's the, the second topic? One. Did you know that Australian shepherds are not actually from Australia? Oh, there you go. Yeah. They are from, uh, wait. Wait for it. Oh, no. I don't remember. Duckwall. Oh, wait, no. That's what it is. Australian Shepherds are not from Australia. They're from here. From the, the United States. But did you know that Labrador, or was it Labrador Retrievers are not from here. They are from Newfoundland. There you have it. Duckwall's doing that as yep. well, right? Yep. More doctors are going to be on the way. There we go. I just got to do some things on the back end. So. Okay. Yep. You're awful yawny today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you have any more topics for today? Um, Are we ready to wrap it up? It's 1130. Is it? Yeah, we probably do need to wrap it up. Well, we probably do. I need to. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. You want me to do the close? Yep. Let her go. Yeah. All right, everybody. You can check us out most Mondays, late morning to uh, lunchtime time period. You can listen on any of the podcast channels or where you consume podcasts. I'd like to thank Johnny for his first day, who did a fabulous job over there, looking real awake and eager. Are you ready to close this out, Johnny? Wait, did he clean up his room? Um, John, did you clean your room? I, I'm going to say it's a no. I'm going to go home to to Johnny clean. Yeah. And I will proceed to clean <laughs> the room while he's gone. <laughs> um and um yeah, so don't don't forget to check us out most Mondays any of the podcast channels and um we'll get, catch you guys next I guess 2 weeks from now. Yep. All right everybody, enjoy your 4th of July. 
Have a great one. See you next time on Five Boys in a Business. I'm Emily King. I'm Harrison King. And Johnny back there behind the ones and twos. John, hit the stop streaming and stop recording button. <laughs>